Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones with me, Alpha Pi Omega, and Lord Balon of the Iron Islands. So what has happened? After what seems like an eternity and a great number of battles, we have won the war against the Liberty Faction, and we can now once again enforce our room on the realm. Now I'll have a couple of goals in the next uh, minutes and to a certain degree for this episode, and that is to collect as many titles as possible, keep the best ones for myself, and uh, to distribute some of them to my uh, family. Second goal is to find and kill Eric, our rival, because he murdered our son in battle and for that he is going to die. Uh, the murder word is maybe a bit strong. He killed our son at the Battle of Shoalstone, but uh, still, in my eyes, that is murder, high treason, and he is going to pay for it. So, let's start by enforcing demands on the Liberty Faction, which will mean that we imprison four uh, people, Lord Stefar, Lord Lucas, Lord Savane, and Lord, Lord Eric. Greetings, my liege. Your great appetites are renowned through the world. I know when I'm defeated, it seems I'm left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So, I'm going to disband all of my armies. And now let's see what we can do here. Uh, as we have uh, ended the war, can we now imprison him? No. Minus 94%. Okay, so Eric will leave Lord Eric's court if we try to imprison him. Uh, so could we instead murder him? 26% Can I invite him to court? No. Lord Eric. Isn't Lord Eric actually in our... He is. Lord Eric is in our prison. Okay, so... We have 11, um, 11 prisoners here. First, Lord Eric Anvil Breaker. So, what we're gonna do here is we are going to. Huh. Okay, so can I strip you Vogue title? Okay, this is going to be. This is an act of tyranny. Hmm. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Renounce claims. Banish. Is deposed. Loses a claim. What Eric? What commanded Chantos? What Eric joins court. Leaves the prison. Is deposed. Okay, so this means... Ah, uh, that sucks. So we cannot really directly take their titles. Um, so how could we deal with this? So who are you and what are you a lord of? You are a lord of... One title, Lordship of Seagrave. Ah, okay, so it's just this area. Okay, so that is actually something that I do want to take away from you. Uh, Lord Sylvain, you are a ruler of... Lord Sport. Oh, that's really nice. So, Lord Eric and Lord Sylvain. Lord Lucas, you are a ruler of what? Bloodstone. Okay. Lord Stefar of Hearthstone Hill. Good brother. 
you are Arch High Lordship of Hearthstone Hill. Okay. Ransom seventy six. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna deal with this. Uh, first of all, the high lords we are going to ransom. Because they will pay us quite a lot of gold. Lord Valden, that's the same case. For a 50. But it's gonna take a while to figure this out. Okay, so let's. Um, what I think would be the best is we can actually start by doing this one by one. We do have a ton of time though for it, so it's not an issue. So, Lord Eric the Anvil Breaker, first you. So, you are the commander of Seagrave. I'm gonna take that away from you. And also the Lord Sport. We can have, I think, three titles, can't we? Uh, yep, our domain can be free. So, Lord Sport and Seagrave we're taking. Uh, so, modify Vasa contract. Title revocation is uh, is removed. Console rights guaranteed. More decorations sanctioned. Okay, modify that. And Lord Savain, same thing. Oh, I can actually revoke your title already. This is an act of tyranny. Even though I have. Okay, revoke your title. So now I am the ruler of Lordsport. Am I not? Yep, I am. And the same thing to you. Okay, so everyone will lose 30. Uh, 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 for the opinion of me. But that's pretty much all that I wanted to do, right? And you, you're also there, Ironhold. Could we rule? How can we improve this king stewardship? So we would need higher stewardship. Uh, not endorsed by the drowned man. Low control and counties. We'll deal with that, but now we need to figure out if we can increase our stewardship quickly. Lord Siegfried. What is the best manager? We actually have the best manager there. Okay, cool. So there's not much I can do with that. Instead, what I could do here is I would change my Avaricious which was to holding Architect Administrator. Yep, that's gonna be what we want because we are ambitious. So why is there something? Narrow control, vast contribution. Honor the serve. So the architect gives you domain limit. Okay. Don't you plus one. Hmm. Okay, well. So what we can do here is we can modify your vassal contract as well to remove the title revocation and cancel right. Ah, okay. Well, let's do it this way then. And you can rot in jail now. Uh, now let's see... Hold on. Let's see the prisoners now. Uh, wait, it's here, right? Yep. So Eric and Breaker now has nothing. He's just a prisoner. So can we ransom you for 10? For actual negotiated release. You will renounce your claims. 
he will banish you or he will not accept. Or we can renounce your claims. Um, I'd much rather execute you. All our guests lose this five opinion of me. Cross family unlawfully executed. Why? Well, then I can just leave you die in jail. Or, I mean... Uh, this guy is actually a pretty good steward. Though he hates me. Revoke my title, yeah, minus 80. So, recruiting you... He will barely accept it. Hmm. Now he's 81, and he has a daughter, Lady Erica. Hmm. In house arrest. I'm tempted to execute to just execute him, but no, we need the money for the new titles. Okay, now, Svein Botley. He runs me for a hundred. Or execute you. No. I'll ransom you. For a hundred gold, that is a really good deal. Lord Lucas of Bloodstone. Uh, ransom you for fifty. Lord Stefar will rot in jail until he collects enough money. Lord Harag of Shoalstone will rot in jail until he gives us enough money. Lord Valden the Petulant you will renounce claims. This is the claim on the workshop of Scatterchain. Can we banish you? Is the post. And Lady Gisela will become. Oh no, she will divorce him. Grateful. Commander Yantus. Hmm. Vicious, just the jour duchy, tyrant, ambitious. I think we'll take the 50. It's better to invest into our own domain. Uriga, 25. Melara Rivers Frey, 25. And Stefan Frey, okay. So we'll be showered in gold now. I'm doing something to do. The sixth hour. My goodness, being a ruler really does take it out of you. I have to toil all day and much of the night too in order to maintain my lands. The peasants lead blessed lives in that respect. They don't have the pressure of rulership to weigh them down and cause them so much lethargy. Perhaps a little nap would do me good. I can sleep off the exertions of lunch and be ready to tackle the rest of the day. No, I have work to do. Mm, lovely. Let's lose the stress. We are no longer overwhelmed by stress. Okay, so we got a ton of gold here. Now let's see. Powerful vassal, Lord Balon. Except. Expects a title. Lord Baron. Uh, you're also a powerful vassal. Lord Bayon kind of likes us. 
but I don't really have a um, place for you, except if you want to be the drowned man. Um, just an old baron of black tide is a powerful vassal too. So let's ignore that for now. We can declare wars. Okay, that's fine. We can create an accolade to a few concubines. Is not what we want to do. Okay, let us check the areas that we have gained. Oh, and let's see if we can ransom the last of the phrase that we gained. Because we still got those. Stefan Frey. Yep. Fergon. Oh, for a hook. No. Uh, Lord Harag, 29, and you are at 51. Yep, you have to wait in jail. So, we now rule 3 out of 4 territories on our island. So, we got Pike, and we got Seagrave and Wardsport Keep. Uh, control is 70, 63 here. You got a small harbor. You also got a small harbor. So we could do a really nice thing here. I could get two more men at arms region. I think we can now station them in these two. Yep. So at Pike, we have the option or the possibility to station skirmishers and archers and you also get skirmishers bonuses and pike itself doesn't give anything okay so we could start building stables at either lord sport can we or is barracks stables yep 247 gold which would help uh, the cavalry and at Seagrave, we could build something for blacksmith, more lodges, heavy infantry, or siege weapons, because we didn't have any siege weapons and that really screwed us over. So having these would be kind of good. Okay, uh, we need to start increasing the control. So you are collecting taxes. Uh, where is the domain increase? Manage royal guards, increase control in county. So we're gonna start in here and see grave and we'll keep it. And now let's look at what we can do with Eric. This guy needs to die. Challenge rival to fight. He will Except is 29 and 14. We got 40 and 22. Okay, so that is a possibility. What about the murder scheme? Nope, not much happening over there. Okay, what us? Oh, we can join a grand tournament. I don't think we're gonna do that at this point, to be quite honest. Grand tour. Grand Tournament, Additional Liege, Pay Homage, and our heir is Amir. Oh, actually, that's true. Uh, as our primary heir, Lord Roderick, died, he was maimed. That's why he died. Slain in battle, stubborn, zealous, brave, arrogant. He wasn't really bad, though. So we now have a new heir. Unyielding defender, trained fighter, and skilled tactician, vengeful, fickle, deceitful, and gregarious. Well, that's not exactly great. Melara Rivers Frey. Humble, deceitful, gluttonous, and ambitious. No. Brave, calm, sadistic, and zealous. Is there any. He's 19. So some lady of the drowned god faith. Because while we would like to intermarry, I'd prefer people of our own queen, a mega. Rufus, forgiving 
and calm. Rufus and forgiving, that's an interesting combination. Arrogant, paranoid, and fickle. Intelligent. Dinner. Sadistic, humble, and generous. Content, callous, and chaste. Honest, diligent, and patient. Okay. Goddess seems like the lady for our son. And she's a mastermind philosopher. So, let's marry him to Caris. And that is going to give us the options here. Now, what did we want to do then? So, Seagrave, as we mentioned, is going to start building. Uh, so, which one is going to be for this cavalry? So, you're going to be for the cavalry. And you are going to be. You want to build it for the siege weapons? That's the question skirmish or maintenance, archer maintenance. So we actually had a crash after I unpaused the game. Uh, I don't like that. These crashes in the mod are... Well, they're fairly concise and we both know how poorly it went with poor Rhaegar. So I'm hoping it's not going to be like that. I'm going to end the episode here, but uh, I'm going to retrace my steps and start the next one uh, with the exact same setup as we ended with um, before the crash. So that means I'm going to take uh, the regions, uh, change the contract of the last one. I'm going to banish and ransom people as I did before, and I'm going to build the stables. And I think we are going to build that um, uh, that workshop because, believe it or not, I think that getting it quite high. Station man at arms siege. Situation effectiveness plus forty percent. Well, the question is how do the Siege weapons work, to be honest. But we've already... I mean, our progress was fairly low, so getting it much higher and making it more efficient will probably be a good idea. Because in case we have to fight and siege people, getting these up would be good. On the other hand, we won the war not by sieging, but by defending. So instead of... Hmm. I'm not sure. Well, you know, the other possibility would be... Getting the reavers. They counter the spearmen. You counter the skirmishers. Archers. You don't counter anyone. I mean, it might be good to counter spearmen, armored horsemen, archers. Well, we have a light. This is light camera, right? Yeah. So we don't need any more light cover. So we would get crossbowmen. No, actually, we need skirmishers. So that was the white footman, wasn't it? Yeah. And then it might be good to get a crossbowman because they are pretty good. They counter heavy infantry, heavy cavalry, and archer cavalry. Yeah, so let's do it that way. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode, hopefully without any crashes.